Yes, sir. Leading off for the Tigers, center fielder number nine, Simon Frivo. It's the LA Tigers and O'Brien Baseball here from the ESPN Wide World of Sports. Wherever you are, we appreciate you spending some time with us here on the first day of the Elite Baseball World Series. The LA Tiger, uh, Louisiana Tigers, the visitors. Revolt fouling that one away. Zach Ryder will follow. He's the second baseman. Lenny Cunart is the pitcher. Playing a pitcher, Bryant Bowden. Kern James, the catcher, hitting fifth. Colton Kendrick. First baseman. Josh Smith at short. Bryce Brown, the right fielder. That's eighth. Here there's cowbells out for this one. Popped up and taken in left field. A play made by Nick Bowersock for out number one. Second baseman number seven, Zach Ryder. That'll bring up Zach Ryder, the second baseman. Two balls, no strikes to pitcher today. Sammy Bishop for O'Brien Baseball. On the ground to third. And Connor Johnson across to first. And Zach Ryder is going to get aboard. Pitcher number 13, Lenny Conard. That'll bring up Lenny Conard, the pitcher for the Louisiana Tigers. With a runner on. And what they're going to mark down officially is E4. Swing and a miss, it's 
runner going. And there's the stolen base. Zach Ryder, who reached on an air, gets over to second with a stolen base. Two. Down the line, a base hit. Ryder's going to come around to score. Cunard in the second, sliding in with an RBI double. There's a great piece of hitting for the pitcher. Double scores a run. And here is Bryant Bowden, the extra hitter. What a start for the Louisiana Tigers. Coming on over from the Bayou to play in this uh, Elite World Series. advancing to third. Foul back all the way up our direction. James Kern, the catcher, do up next. And the right field, and the second hit of the ball game scores Kern on an RBI single. And it's two to nothing, Tigers. James Kern. So that brings up James Kern. There's one away. Leadoff hitter Simon Prevold flew out to right field. Actually, he flew out to left field to start the ball game. Colton Kendrick is due up next. Ball and a strike. Two balls and a strike with the runner on. Swing and a miss. It's two and two to Kern James. Two to nothing, Tigers. Oh. Oh. 
Runner going, there's the throw down to second and it's there waiting for him for round number two. Colton Kendrick now at the plate after the walk to James Kern. Two to nothing, two runs on two hits. All balls hit in the stands must be returned to the field of play. Thanks so much for your cooperation. Second contest of a triple header we'll have for you today. And back to back walks as Colton Kendrick gets aboard via the base on balls is going to put two on. With two hours. Tigers trying to add to their two run advantage. Oof, found that one off his toe. Ball, two strikes, two away, two on. Here in the first. And foul away again. Good battle here for Josh Smith. Shortstop for the Tigers. Bryce Brown, the right fielder, do up next if he can get aboard. Up on the infield, this should retire the side. Called off the third baseman. Comes in, uh, Connor Johnson calls off Sammy Bishop to make the play to retire the side, but the LA Tigers score first. 
into the bottom of the first. 2 nothing. Tigers in the lead here at Champion Stadium at ESPN Wide World of Sports. Leading up the bottom of the first for Orion Baseball. Turns up for 11 to keep the ball. Bottom of the first. Tigers up 2 to nothing. O'Brien Baseball coming to the plate. Ethan Paul leads things off. He's the shortstop. Will be followed by Connor Johnson. Branson Barncut, the extra hitter. Curtis Handy, the cleanup hitter, it is playing catcher today. Aaron Avalos hits fifth in center field. William Mansfield sixth and right. Nick Bowersock is hitting seventh. He's the left fielder. Ty Gibson hits eighth. Hitting ninth, Sammy Bishop, the pitcher, and Ryland Kerr rounds out this great lineup for O'Brien Baseball. That brings up Connor Johnson. After a walk, runner on first here in the bottom of the first. First pitch high to Johnson. Barncut, the extra hitter, is due up next. Down the right field line, just foul.
check the runner back. It's one and one. The count. Great afternoon for baseball here. Just a couple of clouds. It's a great day to be involved. And wherever you are, we appreciate you tuning in online. We got a great week planned for you and a great variety of baseball. So if you're a baseball fan, you want to tune in to USSA Live. get a chance to check out all that's happening today elite baseball our great crew is going to pack everything up head to the Astros facility where we'll have gold medal games for you on Tuesday back here with some playoff action on Wednesday as this throw is going to be offline Two and two. Inside, called strike three. <laughs> so Connor Johnson is retired. Number seven, extra hitter, number one. So Branson Barncut now at the plate.
Leading off the top of the second, number 25 right fielder, Bryce Brown. Bryce Brown will lead things off here in the second. The Tigers, two runs on two hits. And they're going to try to add to their totals. Three, two, and there's a walk drawn. So the LA Tigers, who scored two runs back Number three, third base in the top of the work. first, have a good start here in the second with a leadoff walk being issued. Now Warren gets aboard. A perfect bunt single. Left fielder number five, Jiron Walker. And so that brings up Jiron Walker with two on and nobody out. As the Tigers from Louisiana look to add to their two-run advantage. Walker showed Bunny, pulled his bat back. And will wait the 2-0. Check the runner back. Ooh, and they're lucky the throw didn't go off his helmet. And some control issues early for Samuel Bishop. Bunt laid down finally. The throw to first in time. And a successful sacrifice. And now Simon Preville, the leadoff hitter for the Tigers. And, 
A chance to add to the lead with two in scoring position now. And 3-0. and oh. Samuel Bishop, he's already walked four in this ball game. In danger of walking his fifth in the lengths of the leadoff hitter for the Tigers to load the bases. Found back, that'll make the count three balls on a strike. We'll have one more game for you today as a part of our triple header coverage. 2.45 scheduled start time on that one. Then 8 a.m. Peru and Mexico, I believe it is, as we see a walk there to low the bases as a part of the USSA gold medal games. Really a great initiative where the Versace, whole world Jack gets to Ryan. come for a week and get to play our national pastime. We'll have coverage of that for you. Three games on Tuesday, and then an action-packed Thursday and Friday, elite baseball playoff action. Here's Zach Ryder, who reached on an air and scored just an inning ago. And he's going to get a line drive base hit past the diving third baseman. An RBI single by Zach Ryder, and it's three to nothing. One ball, two strikes. Here to Lenny Cunard, the second baseman. Warden at third, Walker at second. Prevolt at first. Excuse me, Ryder at first, Prevolt at second. The second for one, and they throw to first, and the tag's not going to get there. And we'll see one more run score, but the tag made it home, and that is how the inning comes to its conclusion. So some bang-bang action there. One run does come into score on the play. That was nearly a double play. Instead, it's an unconventional double play, and that's how the side comes to its conclusion. We head to the bottom of the second. It's the Tigers up four to nothing.
Leading off the bottom of the second, center fielder number 13, Aaron Avalos. Aaron Avalos will lead things off. <clears throat> in the bottom of the second, four to nothing. The Tigers are in the lead. Bouncing ball to short. And a high hop taken. And that's out number one. Number two, right Good play by Williams Smith. As he makes the first out. And so Avalos retired 6-3 in the right fielder Mansfield. Now making his first appearance. The ball and a strike to Mansfield with Nick Bowersock, the left fielder, due up next. Popped up and taken on the infield for round number two. Twenty-four left fielder Nick Bowersock. You can hear there's a nice crowd that's gathered at Champion Stadium to watch this game. They're all hanging out underneath in the shade. Kunart ready with a 1-0 back to the pitcher. He knocked it down, composed himself, tosses over to first for a great play to retire the side. Great composure by Cunard, the pitcher. We head to the third. It's the LA Tigers leading four to nothing. It's a nice look at this facility here at ESPN Wide World of Sports. If you haven't made it down to this Elite 32 World Series, it's something to qualify for and really what a treat it is to get to play at this level and on 
this type of stage, a tremendous facility here. Now batting 29, Brian Bowen. Brian Browden will lead things off. Fouls it away, evens the count of two and two. High pop fly into right field. It's trouble. A base hit. Puts a runner Number on two, first. With nobody out. And now here is James Kern at the plate. Kern walked an inning ago back at the first and was left stranded at second. The 0 2 fell back. So with one away, here's Colton Kendrick. Kendrick walked as well. Four runs on seven hits. O'Brien Baseball has yet to get a hit in this contest. That pitch evens things up at two and two. Tigers looking for their second base runner of this inning. Runner going, swung on and drilled down the right field line and foul. And that one nearly left the ballpark.
And Colton Kendrick draws a walk. That'll bring up Josh Smith. Number eight, Josh Smith. One one into center field. And they're going to hold. Well, they were going to hold at all positions. Here's the throw to the plate. And the tag made in time. So Colton, excuse me. So Bryant Bowden trying to reach home plate was caught 2-1 for the second out of the inning runners were able to advance on the throw so there's two in scoring position Twenty five, Bryce Brown here's Bryce Brown he walked and scored Three balls and no strikes. Tafoya Matt posting on our USSA dash baseball wall. Good luck to the Dakota Ridge Fear, the 12 year olds from Littleton, Colorado. Keep your eye out for Javan Tafoya. The pitcher is one of the elite pitchers in the nation. And of course, we wish all the teams here luck at the a lead World Series as a walk. Number three, Jake Wharton. To low the bases. Jake Warren singled and scored in his first plate appearance. And he's behind 0 and 2. Base is loaded. A big break here for O'Brien baseball if they can get out of this inning with no Tigers coming in to score. But they need to get Jacob Borden here. Chopped on the ground and foul. One, two, got him swinging. There's a strikeout to retire the side. And the Tigers strand the maximum. A big out there for O'Brien Baseball to leave the bases loaded. And we head to the bottom of the third with our score still the Louisiana Tigers four. And O'Brien Baseball looking for their first hit of this ball game.
Attention please, now pitching for the Tigers. Number 20, K.O. Bro. Leading off the bottom of the third, number three, Ty Gibson. Some great views here high atop ESPN Wide World of Sports. Got our top crew on this game. Bringing you all these pictures. Four to nothing. Tigers. On top. As we begin action here in the third. Bro is the new pitcher. For the Tigers. And we're ready with a 2-2. And there is a strikeout as well. And the new pitcher for the Tigers, a good start for him getting out number one as he pitcher number gets Tyler Gibson with the strikeout. And that brings up the pitcher for O'Brien Baseball and Samuel Bishop. We've yet to see a hit for this O'Brien baseball team. Strike called even the count at one and one. Popped up, taken by the shortstop for round number two. Number five, second baseman, Ryland Kerr.
bouncing a ball to third. And across the diamond, and it's a quick one, two, three inning. Kyle Bro comes in, and Warden over to Kendrick, helps retire the side. O'Brien baseball still is without a hit. It's four to nothing as we head to the fourth. Attention please, now pitching for O'Brien Baseball, number nine, Joey Morgan. Leading off the top of the fourth, number five, Jiron Walker. Jiron Walker will lead things off as we begin action here in the fourth. We hope you are enjoying your Sunday wherever you are. Two balls and a strike to Jiron Walker. It's three and one. And there's a walk drawn. So we'll go back to the top of the lineup. Number nine, Simon Prevo. And Simon Prevo, he's one for two. Flew out in the first, singled in the second. Bunted foul. Get you some updated scores for the 10 and under play. The Bullets Blue defeated Beaver Valley Red 4 to 3. Lehigh Valley Stealth defeated LA Rip Sophomores 12 to 10. This one laid down perfectly and it'll go for a base hit. Two on, nobody out. The Carolina Cubs took down the RBA Seahawk Laredo 13 to 5. The Mustang Greer took down the PSA Worth Sox Red 10-4. And the Oakley Stingrays took down the Bullet Baseball 11-4. to 
Outlaw Baseball took down Detroit Bees, 11-9. Nomad Elite took down the Bulldogs baseball team. And that's all the updates that we have from the 10U division. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out. Runners on first and second line drive. There's a base hit. This is going to be trouble. One run will score. And the other runner slides into third with an RBI double. Zachary Ryder has done it again. This time he has a double, it's five to nothing. Five runs on ten hits for the Tigers. Good glove by the shortstop. Here's the play at the plate. And they've got him caught on a rundown. And Bro is going to advance to second on the throw. That's just the first out of the inning. 29, Bryant Bowen. And Bryant Bowen now at the plate with one away here in the top of the fourth. It's a ball and a strike with one out. Opposite field, hit towards right. Throw comes to the plate late. And a sacrifice fly to right field. Good enough to score the sixth run of the ball game. Number two, James Kern. So two away and James Kern now at the plate. Kern, 0 for 1, walked in the first, struck out in the third.
The one, two. Back off the legs of the pitcher. Cure is going to grab it, toss it over to first, and that retires the side. Good defense there to end the inning. But the Tigers strike again. They've scored two in the first, two in the second, and they tack on two more here in the fourth. And their lead is now six to nothing. Hitting him off the bottom of the fourth floor of Ryan Baseball, number 11, Ethan Paul. First pitch fouled away. Ethan Paul leading things off. O'Brien baseball still looking for their first hit of this ball game. Great combination, Lenny Coonard and Kyle Bro. Both have been perfect so far in pitching in this contest. Pitch missing a little low, even in the count of one on one. One ball, one strike, nobody out. Up and inside, two balls and a strike. It's Ethan Paul, Connor Johnson, and uh, Branson do up here. In this inning, first pitch swing popped up and hit into center where Prevolt is there to make the play for out number one. So it'll go down in the scorebook F8. 42, and Connor that'll bring Johnson. up Connor Johnson. Great uh, slate of games today. A number of these teams taking part in multiple games. As we just uh, get things kicked off, so to speak. So, Brian, baseball team 5 and 1 in this class. Finished second at the Super NIT and the 13th annual Memorial Day Super NIT. 45th at, uh, or third, excuse me, at the USSA Mayhem 18 and under qualifier.
Lumberland to baseball, the only team that took down this O'Brien baseball team. They lost nine to three. O'Brien baseball out of Washington State. Connor Johnson ready for the one two. Hit on the ground to third and Wharton over to first and the throw off the money and the first baseman Kendrick appears sh shaken up. And we hope he's all right. First baseman Kendrick being looked at. And hopefully he's all right. There's Branson Barncut, the extra hitter. 0 for 1, flew out. Officially, they're going to mark that as an air. So the Louisiana Tigers and still trainer. have a no hitter going. Trainer to the stadium, first base dugout. Thank you. So runner on second and one away. O'Brien well, baseball chance to pick up their first run of this ball game. Now batting number seven, Branson Barnica. And the runner caught trying to take the extra base. For out number two. That's a big base running air for O'Brien Baseball that was just trying to maybe get something positive and get a run. Instead, that clears the bases. And there's two away. A one ripped into right field, but plenty of room for Brown to track it down and retire the side. Fly out to right field. That's how the fourth inning comes to its conclusion. 
we head to the fifth. The Tigers from Louisiana leading six to nothing. Leading off the top of the fifth for the Tigers, number 14, Dylan Pancho. First pitch swing for Dylan Poncho into right field. And the play made here in the fifth for out number one. Should bring up Josh Smith. Josh Smith. The shortstop, he's one for two, singled his last time up. Just joining us, the Tigers scored two runs in the first, two runs in the second, and two runs in the fourth. is drawn. Marks have been a big problem for this Tigers team. Excuse me, they're going to take it back and say that it was a strike, so it's going to make the count full. Three and two. And now there's a walk. Twenty-five, Bryce Brown. That brings up Bryce Brown. One ball, no strikes. Runner on first, one away. Tigers only have gone one inning without scoring a run. And that was the third inning. They're going to try to strike again here in the fifth. Two balls and a strike. That evens the count of two and two. It's 
Snap throw back to first. And the runner Smith gets back easily. There's a base hit into left field. The second base runner of this inning in the 11th hit of the ball game. As Bryce Brown gets aboard. And now Jacob Wharton. 20, Kale Bro. Will come to the plate. Excuse me, it's Bro that's going to come to the plate. He must have taken the place of Warden when they flipped things around earlier. Swung on and popped into right field. Crowd number two. Now we have a pinch hitter. Now batting number one, Ashton Martin. And Ashton Martin is going to pinch hit. Here in the fifth. There's two on and two out. Line drive just foul. Good job of fighting here for Ashton Martin coming in as a pinch hitter. Trying to add to the six run advantage for the Tigers from Louisiana. Down the right field line, fouled again. Bouncing ball to the pitcher. And the throw to first, and that retires the side. Two stranded for the Tigers. Here in the top of the fifth, O'Brien baseball. They got their work cut out for them, trailing six to nothing.
Six to nothing, Tigers. Bottom of the fifth. O'Brien baseball look to work their way back in this game. Curtis Handy will start things off. That pitch fouled back and away. Even in the count of one and one. O'Brien baseball has yet to get a hit in this ball game. Andy fouls it off. Staying alive here in the fifth. Tremendous opening ceremony last night. Was enjoyed by many. As Handy strikes out for out number one. 13, Aaron Avalos. So one away, and here is Aaron Avalos. We have one more game coming up next as a part of our triple header coverage. So we hope you mark it on your calendars to watch that. Of course, be a part. 8 a.m. Tuesday morning, the gold medal games will have. A triple header for you that day is this one backhanded well at third by the third baseman, Wharton, and the throw is not going to get to first in time. And that should be the first hit of this ball game for O'Brien. And it is. Number two, William Mansfield. So you get to watch the gold medal games on now Tuesday morning. The Tigers, number 10, Ben Anderson. Anderson's going to pinch hit for Mansfield here. The while you're at work on Thursday, we got you covered as well. Log on to your computers, watch some great action. From the playoff coverage that we'll have for you. Starting at about noon Eastern time, fourth round coverage. Fifth round coverage in uh, some of the quarterfinal action on Friday. And a six to four to three. Game ending double play. And it looks like maybe they'll decide that there is enough time to play another inning. Just uh, short of 2.13. Our next game scheduled at 2.30. Looks like we'll go to the 6 with a 6 nothing lead.
Number nine, Simon Prevo. First pitch swinging as we begin action here in the top half of the sixth is a swinging base hit. So a great start for the visitors. At the top of the lineup, Simon Prevold leading things off with a swinging hit. Number seven, Zach Ryder. That brings up Zach Ryder. Ryder's two for three, double last time up, looking to bunt, and he's going to bunt and get aboard with a base hit. Thirteen, Lenny Kooner. Lenny Kooner at the plate. He was the starting pitcher for this Tiger squad. Popped up right side and it's going to go as an out. Runner at first out. Uh, runner at second advances to third. As Cooner gets aboard and here's Brian, Brian Bowen, Bowen who's two for three. So one out, runners on the corners. And a lack of execution puts runners at second and third for the Tigers. Nice grab by the pitcher. They'll throw home. Both runners advance, move up to second and third. Seventeen, Greg Whalen. Here's Greg Whalen. Two balls and a strike. Wow. 
This one drilled to left field. The left fielder backpedals and grabs it in, making the play to retire the side. We head to the bottom of the sixth. The Tigers from Louisiana up six to nothing. Leading off the bottom of the six, 24, Nick Bowersock. Nicholas Bowersock will lead things off. As we begin action here in the bottom of the sixth, and Bower Sox going to take first the hard way, hit by a pitch. Six runs on 13 hits today for the Tigers. Number three, Ty Gibson. So runner on first, Tyler Gibson at the plate, 0 for 1, struck out in his first plate appearance. Gibson at the plate, ready for the 1-1. They'll check the runner back.
this is definitely the final opportunity for O'Brien baseball here on the opening day of pool play. Got a time limit in these games in effect of when they can start the next inning. Popped up and caught by the center fielder who makes the play for out number one. So one away. Number nine, Joey Morgan. And now we'll see Joseph Morgan who came in in relief. Come to the plate. Attention, Roadrunners Blue playing in our next game. Please bring your lineup card to the scorekeeper at this time. Thank you, Roadrunners Blue. Roadrunner Blue is going to be up next. What a gorgeous field we have here to play these games in. Great day, sun shining. Some temperate temperatures. One one runner goes. Stopped at second. They'll toss to first. And that's out number two. So four three. And the runner advances. Number ten, Tanner Lane. So Tanner Lane, the final hope for the O'Brien baseball squad. Pitch low, there's a walk drawn. So certainly a start as Ryland Kerr gets aboard. Go back to the top of the lineup. It should be Ethan Paul that'll hit next. But O'Brien baseball is going to need one heck of a two out rally here to come back. They've only had one hit in the ball game so far.
Now batting number 11, Ethan Paul. Here's Ethan Paul. Two on, two out. Fell back and away. Two and one. The Tigers looking for the final out here in the sixth. Into center field, a long run, and that one's going to get beyond the center fielder, and it's going to score a couple of runs. One run is in. They're waving around the second, and it's going to be a two-RBI double for Ethan Paul. Johnson. And that'll make it six to two. Here's Connor Johnson trying to keep this two out rally away. They need four more runs. But they're down to their final hit. Popped up in the center. This should do it. And it does. The Tigers victorious. A little scare in the bottom of the sixth. But it's a final here, Louisiana Tigers 6, O'Brien Baseball 2. Stay with us, our exclusive coverage of the 2011 USSA Elite World Series will continue with our third game of our triple header right after this. The final score, the Louisiana Tigers 6, O'Brien Baseball 2. Great game, man. Attention managers of the Tigers and O'Brien will be down in just a minute. They have you sign the pitching charts. Thanks. 